a boy from America and an alien from just beyond the Horsehead Nebula. It's Mike and Angelo. Coming right up. Angelo. Hold out your plate. Supper is served. Ah! I knew it! I knew it! And I got four and you turned me into. Hi guys. Sorry I'm late. Sorry, Bob. 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 Angelo. Angelo. I'm gone. I'm gone already. God, that sister of mine has some nerve. Just going off like that, leaving me holding the baby. Oh, gee, takes Uncle Bobby. <laughs> oh, Michael, you know what I mean. Rita's landed me in it right up to my armpits. You're mixed up? I feel like the package in a game of Pass the Nephew. What were you guys playing at, anyways? Angelo was just rustling up some dinner. Uh, from the state of the place, it looks like he was rustling up some cows. <laughs> I'm sure you could have found some food around here you could have prepared without turning the kitchen into a disaster area. Like what? Pardon me? I said, like what? What food? Where? There isn't any. Old Mother Hubbard had more in her cupboard than us. Rita told me there was enough food in this place to feed an army. Right. If they happen to be an army of dwarf ants on a very strict diet. This is crazy. I'm here for a string of European conferences. I, I do not have time to go pushing carts around supermarkets. That's okay, Uncle Bob. Luckily, I have a stick of gum. If Angela and I go real easy, we should be able to make it last to the end of the week. Look, I'll sort something out, okay? I promise. It's not just the shopping. Look at this place. When Aunt Rita got a promotion, she traded in the vacuum cleaner for a mobile phone. It's a mess. It's true, you know. Hey, when was the last time she did any washing, Mike, eh? Do you know what, Bob? I've been wearing the same pair of socks for three and a half weeks. That is gross. You could have washed another pair yourself, Angelo. He couldn't. He's eaten all the others. <laughs> Look, guys, I hear what you're saying, but tomorrow I pack my bags. Your Uncle Bob is out of here. On the plane, hot foot to Madrid, Hasta la vista, babies. Right. And we hear what you're saying. Loud and clear. Angelo, dinner's up. Guys. Oh, my favorite. Guys. Bon appetit, Michael. Bon appetit, Angelo. Oh, all right, let's hit the supermarket. Yes. <laughs> Michael, Angelo, you up there? Quick! Angelo, quick! Get me down from here! Michael? Angelo? Look, Uncle Bob, I'm real sorry if I was a tad grouchy last night. Nah, 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 nah. Forget about it. It's water under the bridge work, as we orthodontists say. <laughs> Okay, okay, forget it. Uh, sit down. Yeah, okay. Uh, listen. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Now, you guys need someone to look after you, right? That's the nub of the gist. In a nutshell, Bob, yes. Right, now look. I have had a humzinger of an idea that I think is gonna solve all our problems. Wait for it. I'm gonna hire a housekeeper. What? Someone to look after you while Rita's away. But someone to live here and take care of you. Isn't that a great idea? Yes! <laughs> no! Why no, Mike? Because we don't need some overbearing, bossy old babysitter smelling of mothballs and cabbage, ordering us about and treating us like toddlers. Do 
Sorry, Angelo. Well, I, I... We can look after ourselves, right? It's not what you said last night. Anyway, I called Rita and she gave me permission. Now look, an agency is sending over some people for us to interview. Huh. That's probably the first one now. Now look, I want you to come down, I want you to be very polite, and I want you to help me interview to find the best person for the job, okay? Uh, show them those teeth. <laughs> coming, coming. What are we gonna do, Angelo? We're in a fix. Uncle Bob's little brainchild is to be knocked on the head. No! I'm sorry. I simply draw the line at bashing babies. No, Maud. I have to stop Uncle Bob from hiring a housekeeper. And I'm depending on you to help me out here. Hi. You must be Hardacre, Mildred Hardacre. You took your time opening the door. Oh, no. well, hi. I've better things to do, Mr. Mancini, than spend all day standing here on your front step. Incidentally, when was the last time it was scrubbed? It's a disgrace. Oh, well, come in, come in, please. Ah, uh, right this way. That's it. Here we are. Please, have a seat. Oh. <laughs> There we are. I'm in the teeth business, but just don't accuse me of any incisor dealing, huh? <laughs> Anything to earn an honest molar. <laughs> sorry. Plaque to business. <laughs> Mr. Mancini. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, the boys will be down any minute. Ah, here they are. This is my nephew Michael and his friend Angelo. Hmm. Give me a couple of weeks and I'll knock them into shape. Uh, yes. Well, stop slouching, boy. Take your hands out of your pockets. Mr. Mancini, you'll find me firm, but fair. When it comes to discipline, I'm a stickler with a dogged attitude. Got it? Boys, why don't you go to the kitchen and fix a drink for Mrs. Wiseacre? Hard acre. Hard acre. Hard acre. What'll it be, Mrs.? Coffee? Tea? A steaming chalice of bat's blood? Um, boys, out. Out. So, how's about I take a quick squint at your references? <laughs> right, Mike. This calls for a little Angelo patent pending potion to warm the cockles of her cold heart. Right. Chili peppers. <laughs> Curry powder. <laughs> Mustard powder. And just a puff of Angelo bedroom breath. <laughs> now. You think it'll get rid of her? Oh, one sip of this and she'll be halfway to Goondy Windy. With an emphasis on the windy. Ah. And then you spent 13 years as head warden at Broadmoor Prison? Invaluable experience for this line of work. Here we are, Mrs. Bone Shaker. Hard anchor. I hope there's no sugar in this. It's about the only thing that's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Hardacre? Unstable character, Uncle Bob. Oh, I'll get it. Coming. I'm Miss Bliss. <laughs> you be a good boy and tell your daddy I'm here, and someone may have a little lollipop in their bag for you. Oh, oh yes, Bob's expecting you. Do come in. <laughs> This way, please. Oh, very much. <laughs> <coughs> Miss Bliss. Hello, Miss Bliss. Please sit down. Oh, come in, Nanny Deirdre. Everyone does. <laughs> oh, is this the other little fellow? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a lamb. <laughs> you look like the sort of kitty who enjoys a bit of fun. Billy. Uh, hi, Billy. 
Billy says you can do better than that. Uh, hi, Billy Bunny. Shall we give him a sticky dobby, Billy? <laughs> Excuse me. You think I might ask you a few questions? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, uh... oh, let me. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about yourself. Have you got a lot of experience with children? Oh, yes, Billy and I have lots of experience, don't we, Billy? Yes. <laughs> positive, positive. Think positive. You want this job. You need this job. You're going to get this job. <laughs> Angelo, you old snake in the grass. Uh, that's enchanting, but if, if I could just see your references, please. Oh, um, <laughs> that's your fault, Billy. You and your silly old songs. <laughs> um, my bag. Um, oh, oh, here it is, Nanny. <laughs> oh, bless your cotton socks, dear. <laughs> um... You did say you were looking for a housekeeper, not a zookeeper. Sorry, we're not seeing anyone else. Goodbye. This is a complete waste of time. I give up. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. Hold the phone, chum. I've come a long way. At least I could have an interview. Uncle Bob's changed his mind. There's no more interview because there's no more job. Oh, no job? I see. I'm really sorry. The story's on. I was really depending on this. I've got myself a place at drama school. I'm desperate for somewhere to live and... Oh, you don't want to hear me blethering on. I don't know what to say. It's all right. Not your fault. Right, that's it. Bruce is safely back in his box. Oh. Hello. Goodbye. Don't worry. Something will turn up. I know it will. Me? Worry? <laughs> Do I look like the worrying type? Angelo! <laughs> Michael! Gotta go. Bye. 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 See ya! I've made a decision. You're not hiring a housekeeper, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> and now I have to go down to the travel agents. But you have your ticket, don't you, Uncle Bob? Sure, I have a ticket, Michael. I have to go get one for you. What? I'm sorry to cut your vacation short, but there's no other way. You're going back home to Boston. No, Uncle Bob, no, you can't. Michael, I tried my best, but you saw those women. It was a choice between Cruella de Vil and Miss Piggy. But there must be someone else you can hire. Oh, yeah? Where? Uh, out there. Hey, invisible girl. Sorry, can't see you today. But she's gone. No, it's not fair. Michael, I'm really sorry. But the only thing that's going to stop me is the miraculous appearance of a really incredible housekeeper. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Bob. Hall of Nature. All this... Excitement! Excuse me, Michael. Will you get out of the way, please? She's back! The one that wanted the job! The nice one! Oh! Hello, dearie. I was hearing that you're looking for someone to look after the wee laddies. So I was. So I was. Oh. Well, I... A shout fired. Will it mean a shout fired? <laughs> oh. Is this the wee young sprog? Fellow, to be sure, to be sure. Oh, champion looking home you have here, mister. Oh, I could be very happy here. So I could. So I could. Uh, um, Mrs. Uh, 
Trout Fryer. Trout Fryer? Mrs. Trout Fryer, what about references? Oh, no. You seem like decent enough folk to me. I'll not be needing to see any of those. Oh. <laughs> now, when do I begin? I can start at the drop of a cow pat, so I can, so I can. Well, I... Mike? Oh, I like him. Her, Uncle Bob. I think she's just right for the job. I don't know. Please, just give her a chance. One wee bitty chance is all I ask. Well, uh, Mrs. Um... Stoutwire. Stoutwire. <laughs> Mrs. Stoutwire, look, I've got to pack my bags. Why don't you fix us some lunch? If you do okay, you're hired. Yes! Oh, you're an angel in oh. trousers. So you are. <laughs> so you are. You run along now, dearie, and leave everything to good old Mrs. Stoutwire. Angelo, you're a genius! <laughs> ah, I know. All I have to do is prepare us a slap-up lunch, and the job is mine! <laughs> Angelo... Don't blow it now, just something simple, like a uh, sandwich. and fromage fricassee is usually a big hit. Yeah, well, you're gonna get a big hit if you louse this up, Angelo. Fishy, 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 fishy. Now, here we go. Eat gently for half a minute. Right, right! I just wanted to say, if your uncle changes his mind and finds he does need a housekeeper after all, I... What's that? What? I can smell burning. Angelo! <laughs> hey, hang on! <laughs> Holy baloney! <laughs> <laughs> You guys, two of the Marx Brothers are what? <laughs> Look at the state of this place. Uncle Bob's gonna blow a gasket when he sees all this. Well then, we'd better not let him see it, eh? Huh? Come on then. Right, right. Aye, Tootsie, ditch the frog and give us a hand here. Oh. <laughs> all right. Yes, right away. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, okay, salt and pepper. Angelo, please. What happened to Mrs. Cartire? Oh, she was such a drag. Hiya, I'm Katie. I uh, hope you like salad. Um. That dressing. It's out of this world. I don't suppose you're looking for a job as a housekeeper, are you? What? Are you kidding me? I've never been more serious in my life. I mean, the boys like you. You obviously know your way around a kitchen. The job's yours if you want it. What do you say? When do I start? Yeah! <laughs> this isn't mine. I recognize that. It belongs to that girl. At the pool? She wasn't cute. She was gorgeous. A dream boat. Does the boy hound these trunks live here? Michael, it's for you. Mozart. Oh, brother. She's a classical music freak. Mike, Mike, wait a minute. What if I could introduce you to the world's leading expert on Mozart? Ta-da! <laughs> Hello? I'm gonna kill you. If I ever get my hands on you, Angelo, you're a dead man!